Hi, my name is Arlo Faria. I'm a computer science PhD student graduating at the end of this year, and I work at the International Computer Science Institute. Um, I'll give you guys a broad interview of uh, ICSI, as we call it. It's uh, off campus, uh, down by the BART station. Uh, we have multiple groups down there, and we're going to have an open house uh, where we'll have a shuttle leaving here. Uh, so just look for me in the orange jacket, or just walk down towards the BART. It's at 1947 Center Street. Um, so my group in particular at ICSI is the speech group. Uh, we were led by Professor Nelson Morgan. Um, he's an EECS professor, uh, but we recently transitioned uh, to have Stephen Wegman as our leader. He's got an industry background. He's been at Nuance, Voice Signal, uh, Dragon, and Cisco, companies that are, are well known in the speech recognition field, um, and about a half dozen PhD students, including myself. Uh, so our main research areas, we have speech recognition. This is speech detects taking an audio signal and converting it to words. It's a field with a long history. Um, that's a system from the early 1960s at IBM that recognized just the digits 0 through 10 um, later in the 90s, and now it's, it's used for dictation in medical and legal professions. And uh, most recently, you know, it's been adopted in smartphones and digital assistants like Siri. Uh, we also do work in speaker recognition. This is sort of voice biometrics. And uh, we have a multimedia processing group which works in collaboration with the computer vision researchers both on campus and at ICSI. Um, so speech recognition, this is the, the main thrust of our group's work. Uh, one of the projects we have is looking at hidden Markov models which underlie every single speech recognition system, um, but it's based on a few flawed assumptions. So here's a, a graphical model, representation of a, a hidden Markov model, where you have observations in the darker shaded squares above and hidden variables uh, states on the bottom. And if you are familiar with a, a graphical model parlance, we're saying that all the observations are conditionally independent given the current state. Uh, now, that's a simplifying assumption that makes algorithms tractable, but it has consequences because the reality is that these observations do have a lot of contextual correlation. Um, our work in acoustic features, we look at basically dealing with these shaded circles on top when they're very noisy. Um, you know, speech recognition works great in clean conditions, but in real conditions, the data is different. There's been a resurgence of interest in neural networks. This is sort of a throwback to the 1980s uh, that's been kind of uh, gained some excitement because of restricted Boltzmann sh machines and um, more computational power allows you to build much larger uh, feed forward networks. And the research that I do specifically is related to porting these systems, which are very complex and somewhat targeted to major European languages, to uh, languages that have fewer resources. So on this map of language families of the world, the parts in blue and red are the, the major European languages, and the rest of the world, um, most of the stuff on the right, uh, have languages with very different characteristics. Um, in speech code recognition, our work is related to robustness. Um, because this work is related to, to security, um, this work is funded by the Army or the Air Force Research Labs and DARPA, and we're dealing with very difficult signals collected, like in, in uh, uh, jet fighter cockpits and spy airplanes. Um, but there's also another application, which is speaker diarization, and we've done this in collaboration with the PAR Lab, building uh, a real-time online system which, given a, a recording of a, a meeting, say, with multiple speakers, can segment and label the, the regions which correspond to different speakers. This helps you if you want to build a transcript afterwards and have it labeled with, with different speakers. Um, a lot of the other work we do is related to this in in terms of speech activity detection, language identification, and these dialogue systems where we have speakers who um, speak over each other, they speak with each other, um, and so we, we have to deal with this differently. A lot of it has to do with sort of speech understanding also. Rather than just getting the words, we, we try to understand what the dynamics are, what the intent is behind the language. Um, and some of the more exciting work we're doing also involves looking at actual uh, data collected by scientists who have access to to brain measurements from, from small mammals or from patients. Uh, for example, they do surgery on epilepsy patients and they stick um, electrodes while they're doing the surgery in their brains. Uh, so our goals at ICSI are we want to have more robust signal processing for realistic conditions. Uh, we want to understand the scientific principles behind these engineering systems. Um, and in general, we, we support open collaborative research. We work with uh, a lot of international universities and also domestically. And I encourage you guys to check out the website and come to the open house today. Thanks.